Understanding timelines that have expectations is critical for proper planning. The better information that we have, the better actions that we can take. So in this video, we're going to talk about how long it takes to actually apply for a loan. Now, as a reminder, most of these videos are designed in general terms, as a general education or a starting platform for you to have a good conversation with your business advisor. So because there's so many different types of loans, these, these timelines that I'm going to go into, generally we talk about SBA and conventional methods. Generally, the loan application can be divided into four parts. Document gathering, underwriting, approval, and closing on the loans. The document part takes perhaps the longest uh, and the reason it takes the longest is because we're creating the documents that a lot of businesses don't have. This is where the SBDC can come in pretty handy to help you create these documents or make sure that the documents are created in the right, in the right fashion. Uh, another important part at this, at this stage is to make sure that it tells the same story. Whatever the financials are, the business plan has to tell the same story. You know, the only difference between the financials and the business plan is that one is telling it with numbers, the other one is telling it with words. Make sure you work with your lawyer, your accountant, or your CPA advisor to put, this, uh, to put this package together as quickly as possible, but more importantly, as correct as possible. Underwriting. At this stage, this is where the lender does their due diligence to make sure that the credit appetite that they have matches the credit risk of the loan package. Things that they do in this stage could be they look at your personal and business credit. They'll also look at all your personal and business debts. The idea here is to make sure that there's enough cash flow coming through to make sure that your personal and business expenses are paid. They're also going to verify the value of any collateral that's pledged, if collateral is being pledged. They're also going to look at other lenders that you've worked with in the past. You know, they'll look at a brief revenue history of your business, and this is where they have the opportunity to look at your projections and business plan. They're also going to look at any tax or legal issues that you, might, that you may have had to deal with in the past. If everything looks good, Congratulations, you guys just moved on to the third stage. That'd be a loan approval and commitment stage. What happens at this point is depending on the bank, a loan committee will meet on a, on a frequency that could be every week or every month and will put their stamp of approval on the loan based on the underwriter's finding. And then they'll issue a commitment letter. And this says that they are committed to doing the loan based on some conditions. And the last step is closing. Here, you guys get to your chance to review the commitment letter carefully review and make sure you fully understand what your obligations are, sign the letter and give it back to the lender. The lender might also do one last title search, a credit search, maybe even a lien search or environmentals depending on the type of loan. If it's an SBA loan, at this point is where the SBA will assign a file number to authorize the government guarantee. Shortly after this, funding will be wired to your business account. As a reminder, these are general terms and processes and this should not be taken into account for all business types. Some loans can take a little bit longer. Generally speaking, the larger the loan is, the longer it takes to close. Uh, some loans can take even just a couple of days or hours to close, depending on the type of loan that we're asking for. But keep in mind, those loans that have less due diligence and close a little bit quicker could be much more expensive. Another thing to take into consideration is the bank's experience with your industry or the size of your business. Understanding all these elements can help you get to a better result, that much quicker and efficient, and ultimately save you dollars and help you grow your business. Hope this video was helpful and we'll see you next time.